Welcome to Lame Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy. We are going to cover a really cool trick to putting uh, threat intel into your Splunk Enterprise Security environment. We've done in a previous video how you can open up data feeds. Now I'm going to actually show you how to uh, another method that's out there. And the first thing to look at is if I look at supported types, we can actually see that there, this is in the documentation of administering Splunk Enterprise Security. You come down here, supported types. You'll see that there's a, th a KV store called Certificate Intel and a local lookup file called lookup certificate intel.csv or local email intel, local file intel. It's a little misleading because they put they don't put the little underscores here. But let me go show you that if I come in here to Splunk and I go run a query, search, actually let's go look for dashboards 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 well I'm blind there it is I'm going to be looking for a local let's go for local IP Intel and so if I type in local, we can see there's actually all of those locals right, right here as CSV. And if I go into local IP Intel, I can see that there is a CSV with a description, an IP, and a weight. So what can I do with that? Well, let's go ahead and let's make another duplicate tab. I'm going to run a query here. So what I'm looking for is I want to get an IP. I don't care about a description. We'll keep it all the same and a weight. I'm not saying that this will be you. This is just a, a method you can use. I'm going to go. These are not Intel stuff, but I just want to show it. Index equals core light. Source type equals core light con and stats count by source IP. It's going to give me a list of source IPs or not. Well, it is not my day. So we're going to go grab head 10. I'm going to go set eval description as equals So I now have, so if I go a table, or I could go fields minus count, and now I have those three fields that the lookup's looking for. I've got a sort. The thing, only difference is I need to be written as IP, so I'm going to do a rename. It's IP as IP, and now I have the fields. I've got an IP list, I've got a description, and a weight. And if I go and do output lookup and I'm gonna what's the name of the thing local IP Intel dot CSV I could do an append equals true if I'm going to continue to keep adding to it or I just want a brand new fresh list uh, where I've seen this we actually have Intel being sent to us and so and it's it's listed in a file and I can just grab it and then shove it into this local IP Intel file and so I'm kind of simulating the ability of grabbing that Intel and in my case I wouldn't append it's a brand new list but I can append if I want to so I'm gonna I'm not gonna append I'm gonna leave make it a brand new list each time and if I hit enter I now have created a lookup I can use that lookup and put lookup now I have it it's, we also can see that it's marked if I do IP Intel as a lookup so I'm put IP Intel so we'll take local off oops at the CV CV there we go and it's being my stuff will find itself added in to this giant KV look uh, look up in just a minute so anyway um, 
now if I want to turn that on, boy, I'm all over the place. So I've got it. It's coming into this IP Intel. It's my all these locals. You can just throw your stuff in there, however they match. And now that I've got it put in there, I, what I go is I go to Enterprise Security. We're going to go Content over here. Configure Content. Oops. Uh, data Enrichment. Threat Intelligence Management. We have all these sources. Guess what's also in those sources? Local. And so if I go to local IP Intel, I come over here. It is enabled. It might be disabled. It might be enabled. So that means it's going to take this local IP Intel and load that CSV into my Threat Intel. And so I should be able to see it now if I come into do and invest if I go look at security domain no security intelligence threat intelligence threat artifacts I should be able to see my IP stuff in there hadn't shown up and that was because the source was already enabled and I have to wait 43 200 I was going to wait for that many seconds to pass so what I did is I just hit disable and enable again and when you enable it it automatically kicks off the query to search and so now that I've done that I can refresh this page and there's my local IP Intel coming in and I can look at that stuff I'm going to turn it back off because that's clearly not threat Intel that's going to just shoot a whole bunch of false positives off but I just wanted to show how easy it is there's already local uh, local CSVs that you can use and you can just write your stuff right into there if you have access to it and then turn those on and boom you have threat Intel running on your system hope that's helpful hope that helps move you from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja and I hope you keep coming back